Hello friends, hello hello How's it going? Good Friday Good day peaches, beige lad, hello visionaire, hello hello One drunk man, what's up? Oh Breezy, thank you so much for converting your prime sub to a tier 1, thank you, thank you Peaches, thanks for the 23 months. One more month to two years. Tanuki, oh, it's time. <laughs> thanks for the nine months. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Leo, yeah, it was nice meeting you today. Picked up a board on behalf of a friend of mine from Leo. And then I had to rush out for dinner. <laughs> yeah, for those who are curious what, what I was doing earlier today, I did post my dinner pictures on my own Discord server. It's in the food channel. But uh, went to um, went to Kochi, uh, which is a Korean gourmet restaurant. It's a Michelin star restaurant here in the city. Um, got to meet someone um, and uh, just, to, just to go eat. Um, it was really good. It's really, really yummy. All right, so let's get started. The man did he got a Meridian? Yeah, so got a really good deal a couple of weeks back, and um, I finally found some time to schedule my own build. So here we are. Here we are. I'll claim some stickers next month. Check my stash, didn't have any of the hologram ones. Oh really? I thought I had maybe sent one before, but maybe not. Maybe I did not before. Yeah. So today we're gonna be um, doing a few things. So we're gonna be doing my building my Meridian. I am unboxing a set that just came in today. And then I'm trying out these new switches that I got from CV Planet. Uh, they're called um, Miss Picky switches. Uh, they're JWK switches. Uh, regular stem length. Um, I believe they come with a 67 gram spring, but I decided to swap that out because it was a little heavier than I prefer. Uh, so swap those out with a... Uh... Wait, no. I think they came with a lighter spring, but I didn't like them as much. Uh, so I swapped them with TX springs and then loop those and then so we're gonna be trying those I didn't claim every three months since I live so far. I mean you can claim every three months But it does take a while. Yeah All right, so first thing is we got a box here to unbox I believe this might have a Packing slip, so I might have to change. I might just have to check that there's nothing in there. Incriminating. So let me just take a quick look. Alright. So. Here I finally got my GMK beta from Switch Mod. Shajon! It comes with this custom box, which I think only SwitchMod.net customers get, which is pretty cool. Got this, uh, box that says has a big beta letter and then on the other side it says by Heinebush and Krellbit made in Wernberg Koblitz Germany sold by Switchmod Keyboards LLC manufactured March 
GMK Beta JS. So I got the JS one instead of the regular one. Pretty nice box, pretty sweet. Ooh, the band roll is super nice. GMK Beta, basically this is based on like a VHS cassette, I believe. Extra superior double shot ABS keycap designed by Heine Bush. Very nice. This packaging is... The band roll art is very nicely done. I really like it. No vendor brand branding other than GMK's, which is pretty cool. And... Greetings, Funzy. How's it going? Happy Friday, Scruffy Marks. Happy Friday to you. Beta finally got overseas? Yeah, it finally got overseas. It took a while because they also had to repack them in those custom boxes, so I, I guess that was the part that took time. Look at that. Ooh. Very nice. That looks superb. Basically beige with hiragana sub-legends and we also have these nice red accents for the JS set. Uh, the, the gray is like this nice cooler gray, kind of somewhere in the middle with dark sub-legends, with black sub-legends rather. But yeah, it looks really good. Ooh, focusing a bit. There it is. Looks really good. GMK Beta JS. And then it comes with some accents. Comes with these shift key accents for pretty much every sizing. Numpad, uh, ISO enter, and the tab also comes with an accent, FN key. And then there's this cool beta novelty for the extra B if you have like a like let's say like Alice layout and then you put the extra B, you get this nice cool beta novelty, which is kind of cool. And then there's this other R1 button, or keycap. I'm actually not sure what it says, but pretty nice novelty here. But yeah, looks pretty good. Looks really good. Um, I believe JMK beta is row four bottom row, so standard Good old GMK, but it looks really good. Looks looks solid. Beta JS is my Huey's HKB <laughs> copium. <laughs> True. My friend also got his today. He said he could see he see it now that GMK's Hiragana hits differently. Yeah, the GMK's Hiragana sub legends are pretty nice. I mean, it certainly is better now that um, hopefully with Serica round two. Everything will look nice and balanced in terms of sizing and whatnot. Uh, certainly something that was an issue since like laser, but yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely really nice. But yeah, this set looks sweet. I'll rebox it into my plastic boxes later. But for now, I'll just put it aside. What do you think of Iron 160? Um. Personally, it's not my cup of tea, as in like uh, the the um, the aesthetic of the board isn't my cup of tea. It's just kind of too square, very angular for me. Um, so I personally don't like it as much. Uh, that said, I in my experience with the Iron 180, which is the most recent release of their boards, uh, is pretty good. Uh, my impression of the Iron One Year was pretty good, aside from the blocker situation, um, which was a little shorter than usual um, for the Win Keyless blockers. But that aside, the board itself was pretty solid. Like the brass bottom, really heavy, really nice, um, and just overall, like the board sounded pretty good. Um, 
So I imagine the RN 160 kind of takes lessons from that and then more, and then sort of like puts into this nice 60% layout, which is pretty good. But aesthetic, like aesthetics wise is not my thing. Like the bezel size, the, the corners, like just very like blocky kind of looking for me. I'm not my cup of tea. Uh, but that said, um, it, 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 it is looking pretty cool. Uh, and I've heard good things from the people who got their like, what I guess like FNF boards. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, it's, it looks pretty nice. So if it's your kind of board, I mean, by all means, go ahead. Uh, but uh, for me, it was just like, it's just another 60, but it, it, the implementation should be just fine, I think. I mean, based on my um, perception of the Iron 180, I think the 160 should be okay. What color Meridian do you get? Good question. So I actually got the same color that I first built a while back, which is the dark gray Meridian. Um, so here I have a desoldered plate and PCB, black aluminum plate. And here we have the dark gray, which is kind of like almost navy looking. Uh, it's a very, very nice color. Um, so here we have screws for the plate, some O-rings that the previous person who built it had, um, some TX steps here. But yeah, um, some pretty nice dark gray color for the Meridian, super sweet. GMK Drac incoming, yeah, so I'm either thinking about Dracula for this board or maybe try Hallyu, uh, which I just got in the mail recently, right? So, yeah. I was hoping that Beta would use Serica's mold. No, it's too soon for that. Serica went in way later, so Beta would have not used Serica's mold uh, for production. Yeah, because Serica has not gone into production. It will be af anything after Serica, so yeah. All right, and the switches we're using are these guys. These are the Miss Piggy switches that both Mikibo and CBB Planet are selling. Uh, so these are JWK switches. They are also called another linear switch, ALS switch. Um, but basically these are uh, custom nylon housing switches. Uh, they, we, I believe they do come with a thick thought progressive spring, it's a 62 gram in weighting for bottom out. And they have this pink bottom housing and this uh, custom nylon milky top kind of mold. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty cool. Um, the color is pretty cute, honestly. Um, nice and subtle color. I figure it would go well against the, like as a contrast, like a pop to the gray. And also, you know, just so something new to try. But yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty solid. Uh, yeah, just tried lubing these. Uh, I replaced the springs with 62 gram springs uh, from TX, uh, just the regular length. And then uh, didn't, didn't film these. Uh, they didn't seem like they needed films. Pretty tight. Uh, but yeah, looks pretty good. So yeah, gonna try these out and see how it goes. All right, so I believe that PCB should already have been tested before. So I'm just gonna leave it as this. I probably should program it later though, but it's fine. Uh, layout wise, I probably will do step caps lock, regular ANC shift and space bars, split right shift, ANC enter and ANC backspace probably. Assume those are JWK? Yes, they are JWK. Serica reworked uh, uh, Hiragana molds? Yes. So Serica round two submitted uh, some, so Zamumon submitted some re redone Hiragana molds to fix some of the problems that are with the Hiragana sub legends in general. It's actually not this Hiragana that has the problems. It's actually the pairing of the English, the Latin sub legends with the Hiragana that has issues. So basically like they are out of proportion with each other. Um, so so that's where the issue is. Um, but yeah, that's because GMK Laser was the first to introduce Hiragana sub legends to with, with the Latin main legends, but uh, they were not proportionally like properly done by Mito, and since then basically GMK stuck with that Hiragana mold 
uh, they fixed a few small things, but basically they really re need a rework, a full rework. So the 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 Serica two is the first set that submitted that rework uh, because Zambumon is very particular about his legends too. But yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, overall, it'll be a nice thing uh, moving forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's uh, do these stabs. We have some TX stabs over here, just all to use. On Zenki, Meridian, hope you're having a soul day lightning. Thank you. How are you doing? Who do your mouse that's sick? Oh, this was done by Leonardo the mouse. I actually should probably update some commands if I haven't yet. Let me actually check if I have a mouse command that's already been rewritten. Oh yeah, it's uh oh a Razor Viper Ultimate. So that's GM, GMK Copper matched. Uh, this is by Leonardo da Mouse. Okay, I pretty much use those the most. I guess I don't really use my G Pro Wireless these days. So, or his. It's on my exclamation mouse command, and then headphones. I'll probably update to. I use Moondrop variations. I haven't been using my buds lately, so. Alright, cool. Any high roller channel points <laughs> that want to redeem Hallyu? <laughs> I mean, if you want to secure it, you can do that. Otherwise, we'll see at the end. Okay, where's my loop here? Oop. Wow, Peach is going for it. Alrighty, I'll leave it is, I guess. Uh, brushy brush, here it is. Never mind, I'm late. <laughs> uh. Who breezy wanted to go for the ODM kiss? Is this a confession? Gasp. Maybe next time. <laughs> yeah. Left side Dracula, right side Hallyu. <laughs> that would look interesting. Uh, definitely kind of different because I think Dracula is more on the grayer side. Compared to Hallyu, Hallyu is definitely like a blue, bluer set. Yeah, I've seen a few pictures of Hallyu on. I, I saw a picture that Mr. Uh, Longzilla posted of his Meridian with uh, Hallyu on it, and it looked really good. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same color Meridian, but it was similar enough. I, I, I imagine it looks really, really good. Shikimasu, wishing you a great stream. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hope you have had a great week and a good Friday. Have a great weekend. Pronounce it the correct way. <laughs> Hallyu it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallyu. Hallyu wave. For those who don't know what Hallyu means, it's like the internationalization, globalization of like 
Korean popular culture. Uh, from K-dramas to K-pop music to like food and a bunch of things but primarily from from like entertainment the, from the entertainment industry and it's like a, this wide popularization of Korean trends and Korean things in the world that's what, kind of like what it what Hallyu like what when people say the Hallyu wave that's what it means it's a reference to that, at least Like you know, like uh, chimek, which is like fried chicken and beer that kind of came up from a drama, from a K drama, got really popular from there, and then kind of took off as its own trend. Uh, and then like a lot of the punshik stuff, so like the Korean like style, like fast food, like tteokbokki and like oden, like you know omuk, um like corn cheese soju drinks if you don't know about the salt train there's there's a there's a soju <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a drink galore where you line up a bunch of uh cups of beer cups with beer and on top of them you put like chopsticks to put like a glass soju on them and then you basically clink one glass and then like a domino effect Put, gets all of the little soju glasses into the respective cups, and basically it's like a like a you know soju bomb uh, train. Oh, Poch, hello! Heading back to school tomorrow, where I'll be till I finish my degree in late August. Wow, wait, you finished your degree in late August? Time flies. I feel like it hasn't even been that long since you since you went. But I mean, I hope. The wrapping up of that part it goes well. I mean for the next what three months? Three and a half months? Three four months ish. It's crazy. Time flies by. Just wanted to stop by real quick to say hi bye since I'm not sure when I'll be able to catch another stream. Oh okay. Thank you. I hope you have a great and safe return to school. Must been must have been nice to have a little break. So many kills? <laughs> it does. It does hit hard. <laughs> so many does kill. Um, hello, Dialt. Hello, hello. Time for the IC also came out at a good timing too. It was when the drama Ito on class was really popular. I mean, there's always like some popular K drama, I feel. My master's just one year? Going by fast. Yeah, seriously. Do you have to write any thesis or anything like that? Or are you just doing classes? Is it class-based? Because I know that some masters require theses, but some don't. Uh, a lot of them don't. I know at least at some of the schools I've been to, like they only require coursework, which obviously you have to pay for. It gets expensive. What kind of switches that you would only loop the rails? I pretty much loop the rails for everything now. <laughs> because I don't like very heavily lube switches, generally speaking. Um, in general, if the, smooth, if the smoothness of the switch is enough, like if it's smooth enough, I don't loop very heavily, so I just go for the rails, yeah. So linears, tactiles, tactiles especially though, I mean, uh, Peaches does have a point. I don't like to lube anything else from for tactile switches, like especially like the front part, because uh, it kills the tactility, yeah. It like decreases the tactility. And to begin with, I don't like Holy Panda-like tactility, which is very strong and prominent. Like that's not my cup of tea, but if there is one way to kill the tactility is by using like 205 and like lubing that front part of the switch. For tactile switches. I finished classes earlier this month. Basically, I'm going back to do my summer dissertation. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Good luck with that. Summer and dissertation sounds a little uh, agonizing, especially if you're like in the East Coast. <laughs> Uh, cause summer gets really warm. I mean, hopefully you'll be holed up in like a library or like in an office setting where it's nice and cool, but 
uh, the summer always makes me feel super groggy and tired because of the heat, the heat waves. Uh, but that said, it also is a time to do work, like for for people in school, because it's like the oh you have no distractions, so you should be able to do all your things in the summer. Uh, that's the expectation we always get when you're in school in the summer. Like the, oh yeah, nothing else distract you like distracts you like you don't have any classes right so you should be able to be super productive in the summer. It's like oh, oh really though, but there's so many things to do in the summer too. Like there's stuff that happens in the summer like you know like outdoor events, and then like obviously like I mean it's like this like quote unquote after school right, uh, and then there's like um, you know just like warm so people like like going out for for whatever picnics or or like. Picnics or like you know like going to the beach or something, you know, whoever. If, if you're living close by to the beach, but yeah. Try to loop like every side of the stem for hyperglide blacks to kill the sound. I mean, yeah, if you loop very heavily, it will definitely uh, loop is one quick way to kill the sound of switches because yeah, it really does dampen the sound a lot. Like, makes the biggest difference for for switches aside from like actual like rubber dampers that they put like on silence. Yeah. Heading back out to Scotland. Oh, that's right. That's right, Scotland. That is right. But summer should be super nice. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I mean, I I actually don't know what Scottish what we weather is like over there, like in the UK and like in that part of Europe. I actually don't know what if they have hot summers or not. But I I, I figure like most of the northern hemisphere could have it a little rough, but maybe not. Maybe not there. Gotta get up at 4 a.m. EST to head to the airport. Oh, okay, good night. Thank you so much for stopping by, Oj Poj. Have a safe, safe trip. Hyperglides are made for Tribos 32 for IMO? Um, I think it depends. Sometimes sometimes you do want to go for a 205 because you just like moving a little bit more heavily, but honestly, yeah, I mean, Tribos 32 for also works perfectly fine. All well, depends on like how thick your coat is for your switch, but yeah. 32 for is very nice for already pretty smooth switches, and even if so it's an already smooth switch, you can always do a very light application of 205, and it should be also more than enough. Oh, I assume this was the one you gave a peek to the stream the other day? Yep, Drizzoid. How's it going? Yeah, this is uh, my own unit. Um, I, I picked it up in the market not long ago because there was a really good deal for it. I was like, oh, I've been wanting a Meridian. I didn't get one on the first two rounds or whatever that ran, or like two rounds of sales that ran on Prime Keywords, and I was like, hmm, I've been tempted many times, so. So here we are, and yeah, I got. I eventually pick one up. It's a good deal, though. So we had to build my ergos. Year of ergo T kills begins. Yeah, well, definitely a good number of ergo T kills coming up, and that have been coming up late, uh, recently. I guess like uh, ergos is one of them, and then there was the saber from the four GT guys. And then there was, and then there's probably like gonna be some Virgo or some other ones, Aster, I think. Yeah, some some other 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 Virgo T kill layout boards. Definitely a layout that's uh, kind of coming back a little bit uh, since the LZ Virgo. Nine Walker, hello. How's it going, buddy? Is that a Navy Meridian? It's a it's a dark gray actually. It's a dark gray meridian. I believe it says that on the box. It, it kind of has this bluish tint to it, but it's dark gray. It like pretty much goes perfectly with Dracula, but uh, I wanna, I'm wanna i gonna try Hallyu today. This Peach has requested it, other people did too. And also I'm kind of curious myself, so I'm gonna check out Hallyu on it. I imagine Hallyu looks good on anything like this kind of dark gray or like navy, navy will look good with 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 Hallyu. Black would also look good with Hallyu, I would imagine. Yeah.
It is more forgiving, not you're not good at looping. Oh, for tribosis? Yeah, because uh for, for lube less is more, right? So like, you can always apply more if you under like under lube essentially. If you like lube less than you should have, you can always put more in, but if you over lube it's actually difficult because you like you, you can't just like wipe it off and pretend like it's okay, it's like gonna be might be uneven or whatever. So yeah. As far as like a consistent even application. Uh, you can always start with little and then add more as you go. It's easier to do that than the other way around. I want to build keywords, got that itch right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I'm streaming right now. Ergo, Saber, Aster, Dwali, D TKL, FLX, Virgo, round two, the list goes on. Wow, that's quite a few actually. I swear I put so little on it, it still killed the sound. Uh, I mean, one key thing is the sound is going to come from the that part of the slider. You know, that top part of the slider and the bottom part of the slider. If you apply loop there heavily, you'll kill the sound because that's where it bottoms out, right? Like that's where it hits the top piece, the top housing and the bottom housing. So be careful with those parts in particular. Like even if, like that ledge is kind of small, but it still has an effect. You know what I mean, I think. I mean, I can show you in a bit. But basically it's that small, small ledge at the top and the bottom of the stem sides that like will actually hit the housing when you like go down up on the slider. If you put too, uh, if like a lot of loop gets kind of like stuck on there, like because of the brush or whatever, it will, it will definitely kill the sound. Even just like properly uh, or like kind of like distributing the loop there uh, in a way that's like even or just not too thick of a coat, it'll make a difference in how it sounds. Like today's stream is a nice and quiet one. Maybe a lot of people have plans for Friday night. So I believe Mr. Nathan is streaming a mode sonnet right now, which I should be building one for um, mode next week. Uh, I do have the parts already, but I'm going to just do it after Nathan and Alex are done. So sometime next week. Uh, in the latter half, in the second half of the next week, I'll be do, I'll be doing a stream for the mode sonnet. Um, so yeah, you can you can tune in for that next week, this coming week, uh, towards the second half of it. Will likely be an evening. Um, so yeah. Sonnet was featured on Hypebeast and Forbes. Huh, I wonder if it was something that they have just connections to. I mean, I know that Mode Designs does have a connection to the tech industry. So, I wouldn't be too surprised. Most modern switches are so smooth. Yeah, that is true. I will. I always lube the spring. That's a f that's like a like a must do for me. For me, the spring like spring crunch, spring ping really bothers me. Well, at least I think it makes a big difference. So lubing the spring, I think, is pretty essential. Always lube the spring, in my opinion. Uh, when whether you dab like a little bit of like grease, like thirty two four or uh, like super lube or Crytox or whatever, like two five, or you use like one o five and put it in a bag or something and shake it. You know that works too. Uh, Victorinox oil also works, like knife oil. Yeah, there's like people use different kinds of lube for their springs, but it, all of them pretty much work. But as, well, as long as you kind of get rid of a bit of that crunch ping, it's pretty good. 
it already held a decent bit. And then, and then you can additionally loop if you feel like you need some more of the sound changed and the feel. Green and copper sounds really nice. Looks really nice on Nathan's stream. Oh, nice! He got a green and copper. That looks. That sounds great. I believe I will be checking out a. Huh, can you guess what color we got? Can you guess what color we're getting? Red Snake, hey Lightning, is the Meridian PCB pretty standard so I could use other PCBs or is it proprietary? Uh, it pretty much is proprietary in the sense that there's no other board that I know of at the top of my head that has the same layout. So it's not like an Alice, like a TGR Alice style PCB where you have a standard layout that's been used for many boards of the same layout. Like that's not the case. Meridian it was kind of like one of a kind in that sense. So it pretty much is proprietary at this point. And like maybe if other people do more, more boards of the exact same layout, you will see more standardization of it, but it's not a layout that caught on like that. So it's currently basically proprietary. Not to mention there is this part that kind of sticks out, which is for the ground. Uh, I mean, it just, it's a ground case, but I mean, yeah. That part is like a more, more of a minor little thing just to prevent like electrostatic discharge kind of stuff. But but other than that, the layout itself is just not common right now. And yeah, the, the bend on the uh, the Meridian is, is less less harsh compared to the Alice. Like the, the bend going inward like that for the ergo section. That angle is different between like the Alice and the Meridian. <laughs> Lightning Silver. <laughs> Lilac, not- Okay, I think I think we're back. Hello, friends. I'm sorry about that. Um, my internet dropped intermittently, which just happens every so often. So, apologies. <laughs> yeah. Oops. All right. We back, we back. All right, where were we? Did it also crash during Gaff 910 stream? Yeah, it's pretty random. Can't predict it. You know what I mean? It's, such is the life of such is the life of relying on a in an in inconsistent ISP. <laughs> yeah, nothing I can do about it. I don't have fiber, and I won't have it unless I move, and I'm not in interested in moving at the time. Uh, so unless they somehow install it over here, that's the only service provider I get, internet service provider. So uh, we 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 out here with with our only option.
Optimum sucks to where I am. Yeah, no Verizon gang. Yep, yep, yeah. Pretty much anyone who doesn't have Verizon or other fiber services that are available, pretty much screwed. Because they tend to also be the places where there is only one ISP serving the area. It just generally sucks. Just generally, it's a monopoly and it's like tightly controlled in all the negative ways. It is what it is. I like seeing Alice Boards without the NAV cluster. Yeah, I actually don't even use that cluster that much. Like, I only use... On the Alice, I pretty much only use it for page up, page down. That's what I use it for. Like, the escape page up, page down is pretty much what I have it mapped to. But even then, I do escape... I mean, I, I do... Like, the HKB style func uh, function uh, mapping for page up, page down. So it actually ends up being a very useless three key cluster other than for artisan placement for me <laughs> like it's decorative uh, at that point so yeah the three key cluster on Alice is like whatever to me it's like if it's missing I, it doesn't affect me in the least can't relate with my files wow <laughs> I mean, I wish. You have no idea. You know that I have, I have actually spoken with the New York Commissioner for Communications and the Verizon Head Engineer for New York City, and they basically were like, "Oh yeah, like you know, the city and Verizon has a deal to put like files everywhere, but they can't do it because buildings, like." like managements for the buildings like residential buildings they don't allow Verizon to come in to install the infrastructure that's required for it and they have the jurisdiction like they have like you know they have the control on that so unless basically like the city sues these buildings or something like that to basically like, enforce the building of the infrastructure infrastructure there's nothing else to be done but the city's not gonna do that you know so we basically don't get files unless the city does something about it. No matter how much Verizon can insist on it, even if they want it, and not that they really do, to be honest. It's not even like in their interest, I think, because it just takes a lot of money to install infrastructure in the first place. Uh, yeah, it's like everyone's loss here uh, just because these building owners don't want to do it. Don't want to allow it, rather. Yeah. Yep, yep. So that's that's the situation with regards to uh, files installation. It's just the way it goes. Did the stream die that you've only been live for three minutes? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember calling Verizon to ask if they could install in my building. They said, yeah, it just take 12 months to do it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a way to say it'll never happen. That's just a way to say like, oh, you can try all you want, but 12 months is the least time we give you to give you some hope, but honestly, that's not happening, buddy. Sorry. It's like... It's just a sorry, buddy. You can't happen unless you leave your place because of your lease being up, rather. It's almost like that. Sick. Can't say I'm a big fan of these uh, marks stuff with the lube on the PCB. Alright, there. Why no red plate? Because I don't have a red plate. <laughs> you want to send me a red plate? Give me a red plate. If you want to send me a red plate, send me a red plate. Just do it. Yeah, but yeah, this one that this one that came with it, so it is what it is. Get a red plate, buy me one. <laughs> if you want if you want me to rebuild with a red plate, just 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 get me a red plate. I'll do it. I'll rebuild with it. Cause I do like red points too. I just didn't have one with it, so I just didn't want to bother at that point. <laughs> I 
I mean, to be honest, it would be sick if we had like red dyed PC or something. Or like red palm. That would be kind of cool. Red palm plate or something. Something like that. But red aluminum also looks sick, so I would be okay with that too. These switches going in pretty nicely. These plate cutouts are perfect. No issues with switches going in. I'm guessing the plate was made with typical AIO3 plate tolerances. Yeah, I mean, it is an AIO3 design, so. Which I found are quite nice, at least in FR4. Yeah, they're generally uh, really nice because they have very nice sharp corners, um, which makes these switches just snap in really nicely. Yeah. All right, let's test this out though. TX tabs are so nice. What switches? Oh, never mind. Swap these ones out. I don't like the sound of this one. This one. Just gotta put them somewhere where I don't use them much. have the plate and PCB sitting on the box. What plate? You have a red plate you want to send me? No, I already used the red plate. I mean, yeah, I figure. I have a palm one lying around. Oh, a palm would be nice to build on, to be honest. I actually think I would have built on the palm if I had it, but aluminum is fine. TBH. And interest in the 
Linny inks from Mikibo. I do have interest in the Linny switches. They look really cool. I actually like the color of them. I might I'm, I might pick some up, but I'm 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 not sure yet. Oh, I'll see if I towards the end of the group buy. I'm feeling like getting some switches. I I need to also look at when they ship to see what what I what I would want to put them in. But yeah, I do have interest in them. They look pretty nice. 62 gram. I think TX Springs is what they have, and they're basically like what gaddings uh with a milky with a milky top so yeah they look great so i personally think i i would like to try them out just just want to see what i would put them on do you see that the dollar sector plates are being made by cb yeah 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 i did see that i saw that i mean good for both good for good it's a good thing for both the cbb and klc because CBB's plates in general, like the PE and the Palm and that the, that stuff, all that stuff is really solid. Honestly, like I've been really happy with the plates that CBB makes, and other people have pretty much said the same thing. So yeah, no, good for good for both both parties. Unless they come like Brandon's plate. I mean, that was just because uh, I guess like there was a mistake on the file. Or maybe they just like the laser didn't cut properly there. I don't know. Something happened. But I mean, those mistakes are easily replaceable too. So yeah, no biggie. All right. All in. Yeah, ready to be soldered. Switch here. You can order your red plate from CBB Planet. I could. I just played an order for three plates. Noise. Inks just paint on the wallet. Yeah, true. They are kind of on the more expensive side. Red plate only available with R2. Uh, yeah, I think so. Like the silver red, right? Combo. Pretty funny, but see, we replace it for him in like five minutes. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. All right, Linnies are actually a good price considering the TX springs. I mean, springs are how much? Like six dollars for springs? How much are springs these days? Less than ten or ten bucks? I don't know. How much are springs? Like a bag with springs. I need to order some plates and the cable from CB. Oh yeah, I have the pl uh, the cables over here actually. Uh, where is it? Here. Just have a black one from CB here. Here it is. Pretty nice. Just pretty simple. Pretty good. Seven fifty. Oh yeah, seven fifty is right. Yeah, seven fifty plus shipping. Let's say it's five bucks, so twelve fifty for a bag of springs if you just order that. But I mean, I normally order like springs and some film and other stuff that I might need. So yeah. And yeah, spring swapping definitely a bit more inconvenient. Although uh, you will be opening the switches anyway. I mean, I would be for for uh, you know for doing any modding. But yeah, no, it is true though. It's just time consuming too, so. I think the Linny looks nice. Yeah, I think so too. I think they look great. I personally am. Um, yeah, I might, I might get some. Haven't, haven't bought new switches in a bit, so might be that time. I need to get MX Browns. Oh, MX Browns, nice. I got some from Swag Keys a while back, and those were pretty, pretty solid. Pretty good.
How much was the shipping from Swag Keys though? Uh, I don't remember. Um, Swag Keys shipping was... Let's see, order confirmed. It was like 20 bucks. But I ordered some other stuff, so it was fine. 20 bucks is like... If you order from two separate places in the US and paid priority mail shipping, which is like $9, basically it comes out to the same. So I kind of thought of it that way. It's 20, 20, 20 bucks, 21 bucks or something like that for what I was ordering. Yeah, it's not it's not terrible. Like it's it's definitely on the pricier side, but for international it's more so more than reasonable. Yeah. Alright friends. Well, let me talk about sponsors for a second. Again, um, just some reminders for y'all if uh, there's any news that you might have missed. Um, so first, uh, there's Cannon Keys, I believe uh, AIO3 just recently posted the Brutal V2 interest check, if you haven't seen that. AIO3 uh, is going to be redesigning some of their um, some of their main line of boards that they sell a lot in stock. Um, and the Brutal V2 I see looks pretty cool, uh, very interesting. Um, definitely uh, a positive change for Cannon Keys, I think. And uh, definitely changes aesthetic a uh, decent bit, but uh, definitely something that some people might appreciate uh, to see a fresh line of keyboards from Kanakis along with AIO3's assistance now that AIO3 is working with Kanakis. So, yeah, it looked pretty nice. Then uh, I believe a uh, reminder for y'all who are interested in the, in the Smith & Rune Iron 160. Uh, the Iron 160 is going live tomorrow. So tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Canon Keys, uh, Iron 160 will be live. Uh, if you need to look at the options, there is a reference page linked on the Canon Keys Discord announcements uh, um, at announcements tab, and there is also um, some switch sample bags that they also just recently posted up if you needed to try any switches that they sell but you didn't want to buy a whole bag of switches they do have some sample bags now available so that's something to note um anyway yeah iron 160 tomorrow um and then we were talking about the cv planet plates and as nacho mentioned earlier cv planet makes plates in all kinds of materials from aluminum, palm, polycarbonate, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, um, carbon fiber, um, etc. And you and they, they, they come in quite high quality, very good quality control. Um, there is a bit of a lead time because you are basically submitting a one-off order uh, pretty much every time you submit something. Uh, you can get a 5% discount using my affiliate link. Um, and so yeah, it's a good way for you to save, and uh, it also well helps the CB Planet business. Uh, CB CB right now is a little busy. Uh, she is moving from um, the New Jersey area all the way to Los Angeles, California. So moving forward, CBB will actually be shipping from California. So just so you know, if you get charged sales tax that's associated with California, that's why they, uh, they are no longer going to be in New Jersey. Uh, so it'll be a West Coast uh, vendor from now on. I mean, after maybe like in a week or two, once they um, once they start shipping from there as well. But yeah, just FYI, CV is run by one person. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, she she's a very hardworking and great individual. And yeah, she's moving over to the West Coast at the moment. Anyway. Um, so yeah, CV Planet, um, where you can also find screw trays, uh, the, the bongo trays that I have over there. Uh, they also will be running other things like cables, they have uh, custom cables available as well. They are also the official North American proxy for McLovin plates PCBs. Um, so if you are in need of McLovin accessories, uh, CVPlanet.com is the place to go for any of your McLovin products. Uh, ship from a North American vendor. No more local shipping for you, Diego? Yeah, smooth. It's okay. I mean, USPS shipping is honestly not too bad, especially if it's like first class, still like five bucks within the States. So, she's super nice. Oh, yeah, she's so, so nice. Um, she has great taste in food and cars and coffee and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, that's CV Planet.
Mm-hmm. Alrighty, next up we have Kinetic Labs. Uh, I don't have any recent news from Kinetic Labs, but Kinetic Labs as always stocks a bunch of dust pads, uh, polycaps, key sets. Uh, they have switch films from Kelowna. They also have springs, progressive springs. Uh, they also have, um, you know, other accessories like swag, like, you know, like clothing uh, with other collaborators. And yeah, they also have Lube, the Carbon GS1 and GS2 line as well. Um, so yeah, check out Kinetic Labs if you need any other in stock items that they sell, a variety of them. And they all are at pretty good prices. And so do check out Kinetic Labs, use the affiliate link if you'd like to support the channel. And that's all I have from them. Oh, Fallen! Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Thank you so much for the five months, buddy. How are you doing? How's your how's your Friday today? How's your Friday been? Or oh, you got any plans for the weekend? More artifact farming perhaps? <laughs> Just kidding. Thrash and Tony, ¿cómo estás, güey? Todo bien, todo bien, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? Alrighty, so yeah, so Kinetic Labs, and then we have Omnitype. Omnitype, uh, they actually just uh, had a announcement. They have a newly revised keyboard bag available. They will have a group buy starting from May 4th to May 15th. Uh, they will have a new group buy for keyboard bags. They're redesigned. Um, and they also have other um, packaging and other new designs uh, for things for their storage. Uh, so if you have like needs for like key set storage and, and whatnot, you can check out their website, omnitype.com slash lightning. Omnitype.com slash lightning, if you go there, you can also check out key sets that are currently in stock, such as Modern Dolch 2, um, Pono, um, I believe there's some SA DualShock kits still left over, um, and as well as Jinkin Minimal and Redacted, I believe, are also in stock at Omnitype at the moment. Alright, everything looks pretty good here. Hyped on my cat cyberspace coming in Monday. Oh, nice. Oh, cats shipping? <laughs> yeah, there, there's actually cats that's shipping now. That's great. That's good. That's good news considering that cat cat sets uh, notoriously known for not shipping uh, yet. Yeah, it's taking quite some time on that actually. I know a lot of people waiting on their cat sets. They've been shipped out, just got the extras. Ah, I see. I see, I see. That's good, I mean, that's good, that's good that at least they're making their way out. All right, next up we have, after Omnitype, we should have um, Novel Keys. If you didn't see, Novel Keys just dropped their new Tifu collaboration line. Uh, there's a new NK65 with Tifu as well as a key set. There's a few dust pad designs. I believe Mr. Teha Types himself also dropped a video on the different Tifu related products. Um, but yeah, the, the one of uh, the first official uh, collaborations between the big gaming uh, scene around Tifu and Novel Keys, one of the lead vendors in North America, um, in the United States. And so you can find all of the Tifu related items at novelkeys.com. Uh, they have the entire Tifu collection there. Uh, so you can go and check it out. Um, the keyboards, the NK65, comes uh, pretty much fully built with all the keycaps and key set, uh, the keycaps and the switches and everything installed. So it's pretty much ready to use right away uh, for a banging deal. I believe they start at 175 US dollars, so pretty good deal for them. And there's also a bigger size for the desk pads as well. So if you ever thought that your 900 by 400 millimeter by four millimeter thickness desk pad wasn't enough, there are four millimeter thick desk pads that are way bigger now. Uh, there's a bigger size that has been 
um, that's being promoted right now through the TV collection. So if you needed an even bigger desk pad, the, there's one available, um, assuming that you have a desk large enough to actually use that with. But yeah, that's something new that we haven't seen, which is like a gigantic desk pad, um, I guess, to cover your gigantic desk. No holy Tifu clackers. True. Or these things that are putting that you're putting on. Oh, so these things are little shims that basically um, go right here, right here. Uh, so they basically prevent the clip from getting compressed and the stabilizer from the stabilizers from popping out. Uh, like the other, towards the other side, basically the clip and stabilizers. Uh, um, basically just use this clip to secure it to the PCB, but by using this little shim, uh, it basically keeps that clip from uh, being compressed and, there, and therefore, you know, coming out. It's just to hold the stabilizer in place. I mean, it's, it's optional, it's entirely optional, but it, it, it just, it just, you know, helps them keep, keep, you know, stay there. It's basically the equivalent of what people would call the toothpick mod for clip and stabilizers. Yeah. Some people like to see the wood of their desk. True, 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 true. The color combo is actually pretty lit, but the Keycap Legends, yeah, nah. Yeah, so the Keycap Legends, they have a kind of retro style theme, like a very 8-bit retro style. So if you're into if you're into that, then it's for you. But yeah, some people might not like it as much. But I get it. It's all it's all it's all you know different different strokes for different folks. One twenty by seventy or something crazy like that. Yeah, it's pretty large for dust pads. I mean, even the nine hundred by four hundred millimeter ones are pretty large, but yeah. All right, let's just uh, put this on. Regret selling my Meridian, although the left space bar, which I use, is a bit too inward. Oh, I see. Hmm. I guess I could see that. All right, so interestingly enough, when I was dismantling this Meridian, the previous owner used these very flat O-rings on the screws, kind of like, I guess, to emulate like a sandwich, or not even a sandwich, but just to kind of like soften the attachment of the plate, which I actually thought it was kind of funny. Um, I mean, like I could use them, but uh, I really don't mind either way. I think, but I mean, since it's already here, I was like, oh, why not? So maybe I'll just put them on, because what the heck? Are they like stab washers? No, they're like little O-rings. They're actually made out of like rubber, kind of similar to the, these are like the ones that you would see like in the brutalist years of keyboards. Like, you know, all the cannon keys, uh, like um, all the cannon keys kits have these washers. But yeah, uh, so this, 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 um, the previous owner seems to have used these, and so I was like, huh, okay, cool, interesting. But yeah, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, do I have enough washers? Yeah, so it looks like I have washers for both sides of the plate and the PCB, so I could like potentially put the washers here and kind of do it like a, like a burger o-ring mount like the, like the cannon key stuff which is entirely possible. So I might just do that for fun, because why not? I mean, I already have the washers here and they fit, so it can't hurt. It seems like the previous user used them for a reason, so eh. Why not? Why not? Doesn't that interfere with the USB hole if the plate shifted down a bit? I don't think so if you tighten it enough, honestly. Yeah, at least when I saw the USB port, it didn't look like it was interfering much. I'm assuming these washers are pretty soft. But that's it. We can see. I mean, if it interferes, it interferes, and we'll know that right away. I mean, worst case scenario, I just remove them, right? So... Like, that's not... That's not difficult to to work to diagnose. So
Anyway. So anyway, so that was Novel Keys. Prime Keyboards is also the vendor that sold the Meridians. Uh, I believe there might be a new run of Meridians sometime soon. I just don't know when exactly. I believe they also have their Simpler 60s shipping soon. Um, and uh, uh, Prime Keys is back um, open uh, since March. Um, so if you're looking for Duroc Stas or Alpaca switches and so on, um, Prime Kiwi has them. Uh, next up, there is Project Keyboard. Uh, Project Keyboard, if you have an order of GMK Dolce or GMK Noir um, coming in soon and you have not changed your address, do so absolutely immediately. If you don't switch your address literally right now, you'll probably miss it because they're supposed to ship out like this coming week. And if you haven't switched your shipping address, you'll probably have it sent to the wrong address and that's gonna, that's gonna, just gonna suck. So if you order Jim K Noir or Jim K Dolce R5 and it's supposed to you know, be shipping soon and it ships to the wrong address, just so you know. The, you know, can't say I didn't warn you, but yeah, just FYI. But yeah, that's all the news I have from Project Keyboard for now. Uh, I believe Master sh uh, Masterpiece has shipped out, so uh, for those who ordered that, um, congrats, you finally got your GMK Masterpiece. I know that a lot of people waited for quite some time for, for that to get to them. So They do PC Meridian, I'm getting a second Meridian. He said very few units because because they're doing many colors. Ah, I see. Q3 or Q4 this year, I see, I see, I see. I don't keep up with all the news, so I didn't realize that was the case. But yeah, the uh, USB port seems to be fine, look. Focus. USB port seems to be okay there. So, yeah. Doesn't seem to be an issue. All right, so I was gonna test it out anyway. Cool, everything works. Nice, nice. Is this the Meridian you bought? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the one I just recently bought. All right, sweet. Everything looks good. It's time to put it into the case. Alrighty, and then finally we have Salvin. But um, Salvin just recently dropped those knee deep collab caps. Um, I believe Salvin is working on other future runs for new keycaps. Uh, so just keep an eye on Salvin's announcements, social media, etc. If you want, if you were interested in that for the previous run, um, and there is more coming up, uh, you'll probably see something soon enough. Um, I believe um, Salvin's making progress with the Salvation. And he's also making good progress with uh, any future projects that might be upcoming soon. Uh, I believe um, testing testing uh, manufacturing of the SAR is also something that I believe was posted on Mr. Zambamon's news report. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I had from Salvan as for recently. Uh, I believe MW Satellite is the, today's the last day for MW Satellite's group buy. So if you are in North America, that would be from Space Cables or SpaceHoldings.net. And if you are in the EU, you would order that, order that from Salvan. So that would be on Salvan.com. So just so you know, MW Satellite's last day is today. And I believe that's all the announcements I have from them. Uh, Space Cables also just opened the pre-order for the new cyberboard called the Cyberboard Terminal Edition. Uh, basically, it's themed after like that, like black and green sort of like old school terminal style. Uh, so if you're interested in a cyberboard that's themed a little differently from the previous runs, uh, it is currently available for pre-order. It starts at 650 US, which isn't necessarily cheap, but um, just so you know.
that blue looks great, so it's actually like dark gray. That's what the box says, at least. Like, if I look at the box, it says it has this it has this tag which which is for for the gray. So this is dark gray apparently. It's just a fun board to look at. Uh, the the cyber board, yeah, I would say so too. It looks blue gray, yeah, it does, right? It's it's that's that's I, I like it though. I like it. It looks very blue gray for sure. It goes really well with Dracula. It's like a very dark one. All right, so I believe Miss Peach has redeemed Hallyu, so let's go get that. So excited for Dolter 5 finally shipping. I know, right? I'm very excited for everyone to be getting theirs. And hopefully, y'all can feel free to tag me on like Instagram or, you know, post it on the Geek Hack thread, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, um, Dolter 5 shipping very soon. So, pretty hyped to see that on people's boards. I hope people like it. <laughs> Try Hallyu on. I was commenting that uh, the Meridian is one of the very few key sets, that, I mean, very few keyboards rather, that would force me to use um, 1.25U bottom row mods because I normally don't. So, yeah. Let's check it out. Check it out, check it out. GMK, how do you do? The Meridian is great for EPT blanks since I can use 1.25 handed enough for two Alice blank boards. Oh, I guess that makes sense for blanks, yeah. Meridian was well priced at group buy? Yeah, it was pretty nicely priced. It was like, I think it was 380 or three, was it three, 320 for group buy and maybe like 380 for in stock? I actually don't remember. Wait, is this the wrong size? Oh, that is the wrong size, huh? This is, I think this is 2U. Oh, what a weird one to include. Oh, there it is, 1.75. I still... Okay, let's see. Well, it was 380 before shipping, I see. Yeah, that's why, that's why I knew about it. I was like, 380 right before, before shipping. What's cooking? What's up, Quapa? How you doing? Oh, huh. oh, I see. Um, let's... There's a matching color for the function key here. Because for the same row, I want it to match.
This is a very nice look with this particular board anodizing. Looks really good. It's looking very, very nice. Let's see. All right. Space bar kit over here. Wait, I'm missing a few numbers. Uh, number of keys. All right, space bar kit, extra B. And this is two, two, five, two, seventy five. And that's it. I guess I don't get to really use novelties because the novelties would be nice on a different place. Maybe like escape, but eh. I'll use an artisan as usual. Look how nice that looks though. A few nice ones, I think. This Mondrian looking one is a pretty nice match because it's very colorful. This Miru also looks pretty good with it. Pretty pretty perfect for the for the for the board. This purple keywalk also looks really good. Um this Dante also looks really good. Pretty much a perfect fit. Dante B2. Um this this one also looks nice, level caps, um, and I think these are the ones that match best with this color scheme. Who is the Dante from? That's from Bludgeoned Caps. Bludgeoned Caps. Blood Caps. B-L-U-D Caps. K-A-P-S Caps. All right, so how about y'all help me pick? Let's do a quick poll. Can we get a poll, Peaches? Let's do one, two, three, four, and five. Just do one, two, three, four, five, which artisan, and people can pick based on that. <laughs> okay, well, all right. All right, Dante for sure. All right, Dante it is. That was fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. It is a pretty perfect match, so. Alrighty. Easy clap. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let's get that cable plugged in now. All right. It's looking good. It's looking good. Well, I don't know what indicator this is. Is this numlock, maybe? Let me check my own screen. It is numlock. Okay, cool. All right, let me move the mic. And let's do a typing test here.
All right, let's turn off the music. And let me just test this out. Okay, cool. All right, let's let's try this out, shall we? All right, so here we have our Meridian built with Miss Piggy JWK switches. These are called another linear switch, ALS switch, uh, but they're the Miss Piggy, I believe Makibo and CB Plant are both selling the switches. If CB Plant is already out, Makibo still probably has them. Um, and if you do purchase from CB Plant, though, you can get a 5% off discount if you do use my affiliate, my affiliate code. Um, it doesn't really kick back any money towards me. It's just a good way to support my viewers. Um, the 5% really is just for you guys to take advantage of from CB. Um, yeah, so there's no real kickback for me, but it's something that you should take advantage of because it's there. Um, just FYI. But yeah, uh, let's, let's give this a shot, shall we? All right, so here is the Meridian with picky switches from JWK with JMK Hallyu on the on the board. All right, here we go. Pretty good though. Yeah, it's a very nice uh, clacky sort of sound, but it's a very, very clean sound. I actually really like it. Um, I was a little concerned at the beginning when I was lubing these switches. One thing I did notice uh, from these piggy switches, which I actually don't have any, oh, I did put a spare, my spare over here. One thing I, I did notice about these uh, piggy switches was that the one of the legs is a little bit loose on a lot of these uh, JWK switches. Uh, it's just something about their housing. They just don't really have very, very tight tolerance around the thinner, uh, is it the thicker leg? Actually, it's a thicker leg. Um, and I was concerned that it would have like a very negative effect to it, but I figured that it's actually worse for like a hot swap board to use these, uh, which actually we experienced during my MOS switches build with the Zenith. But once they're properly put on, like if you solder them, that goes away because essentially you're holding the leg uh, tightly. So that was something I was initially concerned about, but doesn't seem to affect it at all. Um, just, just something that kind of came up uh, while I was looping these, but that doesn't seem to affect the sound of it at all, which is pretty nice. But very clacky, very, very clacky, clacky switch. Um, yeah. We can do a quick, uh, quick 30 second here, and then I'll do the mods. All right, once again, Meridian with these ALS Miss Piggy switches. Pretty good. They sound pretty nice. Very clacky. Uh, definitely something that kind of really resonates in this case, but I actually do like it. So I think I'll have to use them for a bit for, to see how how I like it, how I like them even more or not. You know, but definitely different from like your usual like MX Blacks, you know, Cherry Switch, Gadron Switch style. But it sounds really good. All right, and here are the mods. 
It sounds so good. Why did I sell my Meridian? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alright. Um, here are the mods. That sounds clean. That sounds clean. Um, how's the typing feel? Uh, I mean, this is an aluminum plate, so it's pretty, pretty standard top mount. Uh, so it's uh, decently rigid and not very soft, I guess. Maybe if I use like a palm plate, it would be uh, much different, I would say. Yeah, pretty decently like rigid and not very like, not too stiff, not too soft. Right in the middle, it's an aluminum plate. Uh, pretty much what I would expect from most top mount like kind of boards like this uh, But yeah, not nothing nothing like too flexy or anything like that. Not at all Just right like it's not a harsh feedback is what I would say It's definitely like standard metallic plate top mount feedback. Yeah, nothing Nothing notable as far as like it doesn't feel like I'm typing on rocks or against like a brick wall so so yeah and this is uh, these are uh, Miss Piggy switches from the CB Planet sells them, uh, sells them, and then McKeeble also does as well, depending on who you might prefer to buy from. But I believe if CB Planet does have them, you can still buy them for five percent off with a five percent off discount if you use my uh, promo code through them. It still feels way softer than a tray mount. I mean, yeah, top mount definitely just does feel softer than the than the tray. That's for sure. Meridian only Alice type board with better right space for sound than left? Hmm. I guess that's. Maybe it's because of the screw positions? I don't know. But yeah, it definitely sounds pretty nice on the on the right, which is what I use, so it's perfect. Um but I mean they would sound differently anyway because of different sizing. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'm actually contemplating if I should train my to use my right space bar on the Meridian. <laughs> also, goes directly with the push-ups. I'll do that. Any solid gas amount TKLs to look into? Uh, what, what what should I say? Like, should I be like, you should get a a, a JNV two C, <laughs> a key called number one or number two TKL. <laughs> I mean, there's also like other ones, the Iron One Eighty. Uh, there's also like I mean what other there's a bunch of there's a bunch of um, TKLs with gasket mount nowadays right, but I mean those are some examples. Um, but yeah I mean there's there's other there's other TKLs with gas mount gasket mount I mean like the Space 80 Apollo from Gray Studio has gasket mount. Um, the um, well I, I guess like the Matrix stuff uh, like the ME definitely had a little bit of kind of gasketing. Uh, so that, I guess that would work. Gion's works, yeah, like Gion works is uh, Frog, 
TKL, F1 8x, F2 84. Um, yeah, Andromeda, yeah, Andromeda also. Definitely on the more expensive side, but that's also available. Um, like right now, the names escape me, but you guys can always help me here. But yeah. All right, fine. I'll 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 do these push-ups. That's a lot of boards. Well, there you go. If that helps, then that's good. Oh yeah, Mr. Suit also tango uh, gas game out. So yeah, there's there's a bunch there's a bunch of boards that do do gas getting. So nowadays at least it's just pretty common. All right, fine. I'll do some pushing up of my body. Uh, so let's let's do that. Where's cam view here? Scarlet TKL still has extras in stock and it's affordable. Hmm. Don't know much about the Scarlet TKL myself, but if it is, then that's good. Uh, do check like thoxstock.com slash keyboards. I believe they have, they list all the different vendors that have in stock keyboards available. So that's the one place you can start looking. Thoxstock.com. If you do exclamation in stock, uh, you should get the website link. All right, let's do those push ups. Push the earth away from your body. <laughs> yeah. Scarlet top mount and gummy o ring mount. Oh nice. That's nice. Yeah, I mean if that's available, I mean you should you should definitely try to get it. Okie dokes. So let's see here. Or just design your own easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Just make your own five head. But yeah, what do you guys think? This looks really nice, doesn't it? So here we have, I mean, I can maybe take out a, so you can see what the switch looks like underneath. But basically this is what the port looks like. That's the Miss Piggy switch over here. That's GMK Hallyu. Black aluminum plate. Here we have a CVV Planet cable. CVV Planet sells uh, custom cables now. You can get them with a Limo lookalike 0B connector or 1B connector, which is slightly thicker than this. Custom detachable connectors with a nice uh, metallic port if you want, or you can also do like regular heat shrink style. But uh, yeah, looks really nice. Let's uh, put these caps back on. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> free machining. <laughs> Alrighty. So here is the board. The Meridian with GMK Hallyu looks really good. Actually, I think I'm going to keep Hallyu with this board for a bit. It looks really, really good with it. I honestly think it's hard to miss with this one too. So, Dracula or Hallyu looks really good on this dark gray anodizing. Dark gray slash blue gray, I guess. Has a bluish tint to it, so. But yeah, you guys like that? It's really good. Feels novelty in the bottom row. True. I mean, um. What do the Hallyu novelties look like again? We have novelties here. Uh, you know, the problem with the novelties is that I don't like the 1.25U ones. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, it bothers me as a Korean person. 
the the legends are not very good uh, these ones like so so these ones are the ones in question like I don't know what it is maybe it's the thickness looking a little off but something about it kind of bothers me oh yeah there I know what bothers me look at this easiest way to check I mean look at this the the bottom the very bottom of the second second one does not match the first one so this is actually I think it's poor like I don't know if it's GMK's fault or the designers fault but the second character is bigger than the first one it's almost like they are different font sizes That's why something that I'm not a particular fan of here is that basically the writing is not like accurate essentially. This this bothers me. Also this part here bothers me a lot. That where like the you see where the Han ends like so it's for, it says Han Liu, okay? It says Han Liu, right? Like Han Liu. So uh, the the n sound here basically turns into an l when you put it with the l sound together. Han Liu like all together, but it's Han Liu, but basically where the Han character ends, the other one's like just bit right on top. So it's it's pretty much like too close. There's no space between these two characters and that bothers me as well. It's just way, way too close. But this bothers me the most, this part. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It, it's kind of like, this is, this is, this is, I, I think this what this was the only thing that I was like, oh man. Also, I mean, one thing is that the so this is the like H syllable, the this like circle or and like this like hat with the circle, like oval. That's like the H kind of sound, like the H sound, and this like the N sound here. But these consonants, like this this N character base basically is like at the center of this first one, which. Basically, the placement's just a little too far to the right than the left. Anyway, yeah, just I'm just being picky at this point. But yeah, I, I don't really like them as much. I would rather just use the regular alt keys over this. Um, so yeah, but I do like the I do like the one use. Like I do like the I do like the finger heart. The finger hearts are kind of cute. Maybe it's like I could do like one, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't know, but the the one user are kind of cute. Um, like these these are pretty cool. But yeah, that's the only legend that I don't like. I don't say all the other ones are pretty nice though. I like the soju ones too here. These are pretty cool. The little cinema ones. All of these are nice, except for the Hallyu looking ones. Yeah. Like, these are the only ones that I wouldn't use. The rest are pretty good. Yeah. I'll put the one Yi on the nav cluster. Yeah, yeah, I think if this were a 65%, Hallyu uh, look, would look nice with the novelties. But I think in this case, I probably won't use it. Just for this one, I won't use it. Yeah, sad that there are no R4 finger hearts. That's what I thought too. I was like, why? The finger heart is like such a staple in this particular novelties kit and it's just not there. It's only R3 and R1? Why R3? What? 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 Why is there an R3 finger heart? What's that for? Who the heck puts a finger heart on R3? What? <laughs> Why is it R3? <laughs> is it the 65% cluster? Oh, okay, that's what it is, huh? It's like uh, this, yeah. R1, 2, 3, 4, like this. Uh, wait, sorry, you can't see that. Let me zoom it out. It's basically this. This the uh, it's, it's a 65% cluster like this, like that. Yeah, uh, oh well. That's kind of a bummer. I would have liked to see our four finger hearts, but I mean it's okay. Whatever. It is what it is. I'll I'll use them in a different board. 
Yeah. It would be good for macro column. Oh yeah, like a like like you know, like zenith style. That would be cool too. Although I don't have any boards with macro columns other than the Juby and the and the zenith, but those already kind of have their sets. Yeah, this looks spectacular though, nonetheless. This looks really good. Yeah. Hmm. So cute. I actually really I, I I can't say I like gradient sets, but this this set is actually very nice. This set is very nice with the gradient. The gradient is very, very good looking color wise. The colors are, are spot on for a gradient color set. Very, very nice with this blue. Really like it. Alrighty, well, I think that's all I have for tonight, friends. Diego, have you tried using any half plate on the Meridian before? I have not. I have only tried a full palm plate and a full aloe plate. I have not tried a half plate on the Meridian yet. I'll be willing to try, but I, I would have to make one, uh, have one cut. Um, so anyway, so just for announcements really quick before we go and before we raid somebody else. Um, first thing is Sonnet build next week, mode design Sonnet. Uh, if you want to purchase a mode sonnet, uh, please do so using my affiliate link to mode keyboards. This is a website. Uh, it's basically um, modedesigns.com slash lightning keyboards. You can uh, purchase your sonnet there if you're going to. If you're thinking of purchasing it for yourself or for, for anybody else, you can just check it out there. There's a configurator there. Uh, maybe if you guys want me to check out a configuration that I, I might like and you might want to get ideas from that, I can do that. Maybe I'll post it on my Discord too. Uh, but yeah, Sonnet build next week. Um, don't forget to check out the build that Alex and Nathan are doing. Nathan just did that now. And then Alex is doing his tomorrow. Um, and then I'll be doing my stream, uh, my build stream for the Sonnet next week. It'll be on the second half next week. I'll announce the specific date and details later. Um, join my Discord. So exclamation socials here. You can, you can check out any of my social media channels, including the Discord server. Um, that I'm pretty active in, so um, check it out there. And finally, um, again, the Noir or Dolch R5 orders. If you order from Project Keyboard or Desk Hero, for example, uh, don't forget to check uh, your shipping address for that and get it changed if you need to. Um, and then, yeah, so, and then upcoming streams or upcoming builds, uh, I'll probably have um, some other stuff coming soon. Uh, I, I have some switch loop for some of my own boards like this one and then uh, there I should be having some other some other material soon enough I believe someone sending me a heavy nine at some point very soon um, someone sending me a key cold at some point soon or actually I already have it I just need to get the parts uh, I'm also getting a Babylon from trailblazer keyboards to build uh, which is this interesting 65% with this like o-ring kind of mounting design but it's a bit different from your usual o-ring style basically uses these gaskets to mount it um, uh, which Alex also built I believe um, but the designer reached out to me uh, and I'll be I'll be building one of those soon and I think that's it for now I mean I'll keep you guys posted on any new builds coming up but yeah I think that's all I have for tonight and yeah have a good rest of your weekend um, if I stream over the weekend well, you'll see the ping drop um, if you want to you know know when the ping drops just make sure to follow and hit the notifications button on my channel and then finally if you want to just get the actual ping uh don't forget to join the discord server for that and let's check to see who is streaming at the time so let's see keyboards 
Heha Types doing a sonnet build. He just finished, it looks like. We can go raid Mr. Nathan Teha Types. Shenqing Nuang currently building an Angel 65. That's a cable car designs board. Uh, looks like she's just on soldering, perhaps, and about to do a typing test, where you should maybe quickly raid so you can guys, you guys can check that out. Um, and I don't see many other people. I see Jack Piketty doing a birthday stream. And I guess that's it for keyboards. Oh, I see Mr. 001 Anthony doing a 7V build. Uh, we raided him before, however, so perhaps next time. So let's go, we can go raid um, Patty Shinjin Wong. How about that? Do you reveal the color you got? Uh, it's gonna be blue and silver ish, uh, if I recall correctly, but you know, you'll see it then for the, for the sonnet. All right, let's go raid Miss. Patty Shinjin Wang. Happy f Lightning Raid. Now go raid. And then we can say it's Friday then. It's Friday. TGIF. Meow go pog. But yeah, it's, it's it is it is a uh, kind of on brand. But yeah, y'all y'all will y'all will see then. I'll catch you guys on the next stream. But again, thank you everyone for stopping by and sticking around. <laughs> I like that emote, <laughs> the cat rave emote, so good. All right, friends, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Thank you so much, and have a good weekend. I'll see you later. Goodbye.